everybody! I am Jordan Toronto and welcome back to Discover Me TV. Uh, today on this episode I have Austin Kucha, creator of Blood Rugs and Makeup and Special Effects. Yes. And I can't wait to talk to her about this company that she has and all of these interesting things she's up to. So let me just start by saying welcome. I'm so excited to have you. Thank you so much. It's so good to be here with you. Yay. I appreciate you bringing me on. I am so glad to. So tell me about how Blood Rugs got started. Uh, I started the company in 2011. Wow. Um, I was apprenticing the makeup artist, uh, which was Mark Batista and Kim Kalea on the show Southland. And the prop guys and the special effects guys on the show had this idea to try to make this mat that recreated a pool of blood, but didn't get messy. It didn't leave like the stain or the mess behind. We might just like to, uh, yeah, show you a little example of this. So, hey, cameraman, show us. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. this is a blood rug, and literally what it is is it just recreates a pool of blood, a pool of liquid of any color, and you can literally pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> and magic. drop it back down. So they were trying to figure out the color because... Working with this with this material, the hardest thing to do is get the color right. Got it. And so their color was kind of creating this like really nasty opaque red, which wasn't what they were really going for. And then it didn't look like liquid. It didn't look like liquid. It was it was just a mess. So they had come over to the uh, makeup department and asked them to kind of help them with the blood color, since that's kind of what we work with a lot. So <laughs> um, you know, well as they were prepping they didn't really have time to do it. And I'm kind of just over here cleaning brushes and you know just helping them prep their trailer. And they asked me if I wanted to handle this task. And me being non-union in the union world, I couldn't do much, you know, like I could just pretty much just help them uh, organize. And once they gave me this opportunity to kind of put my two cents in, I was so thrilled. I was like, I need, I need to really focus on this, do it right and do it justice. And so I got the materials that they said to use, and then I created my color. Uh, a couple days later, brought it right back, and then they used my first product of blood rugs. <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> yeah, on the show Southland. So it was it was really great. Were you so proud? <laughs> I was. Were you um, in the credits? That not in the credits. Um, kind of in when you're working behind the scenes, like you're just so grateful to be a part of it right. that. Um, that's so just part of the makeup department. Was, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, it was just being a part of it was really cool. But um, I'm sorry, what did you say? But then you realized, <laughs> I guess maybe then you realized that maybe there was like a need in general. Exactly. So then from then on, I basically went to the courthouse a couple days later because I realized that this is a need that no one is doing. That's so cool. No one's specifically honing in on liquid design in the film industry. So I went to the courthouse, I came up with my name, I was like, what is this product? It's literally blood and I'm using it as a rug. So Blood Rugs is going to be my name. That's so and that's cool. really been a catchy like uh, branding name for my company. You know, I, I have people telling me all the time like, oh, we hear about Blood Rugs, your, you know, your company's name was thrown around through this producer or this exec. And it's really, you know, I feel so much gratitude because just creating your own company and brand out of nothing. Right. For and you were young, using right? it. Yeah, I was only 17 years old. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah. I mean, and then to have like a level of respect where your name is being thrown around, your company is being thrown around because you created, like you filled a need that yes. most much older adults at the time were not <laughs> able to do, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it was, um, Honestly, I really don't know how it all kind of fell into my lap, but it certainly did. And the thing that I think separates people who actually do things once they have an idea is just going for it. It's yes. like the Nike slogan, just do it. You yeah. know, like you have to just do what you feel is important. And oh, that's so for any creative, you know, like for anything that anyone's doing in a creative, you know, line of work that... You just have to go with your gut. And so that's what I did. And those, you know, the reputation has come after years and years of blood, sweat, and tears. Like, literally. <laughs> it's, it's a hustle. It's, um, I didn't go to school for business, but 
you know what, I'm really happy with the progress and the pace that we are going at. It's, it's working for me, and that's kind of what's imp- important. Right. Well, and that is really inspiring. Um, I think it, that's such good advice for all of us, for anybody, uh, any of the viewers that are creating anything at all, any other YouTube creators, just do it because it's so much of the time we can just like think of it and then immediately doubt it and just like kill our momentum, right? Yeah, yeah. And nothing is stupid. Like nothing create. is stupid. Mm-hmm. So you did get some advice on, on on just at least what materials to start with. I mean, yes, because I well I wouldn't know where to start, but you were already a makeup person. I mean, yes. did you grow up doing makeup? Did you? I did. My father, Vic Kucha, um, has worked in the industry for forty six years as a transpo coordinator, and. He's now retired. He worked his butt off, and he deserves to be retired. <laughs> um, so he was on that show. That was like the last show he worked on before he did retire. So um, he uh, and thankfully he invited you. Yeah, to... exactly. So he invited me to set. That's where I met the makeup artist that I was apprenticing, and that's literally where it all kind of happened. But since they told me about the material to use, I have now done my own research and I've actually changed that material. So I'm using actually something completely different than what they originally told me to use. Oh, got it. Mm-hmm. And again, you have your perfect pool of blood that you can move around, you can cheat for camera, you can customize yourself for your script specifically. That is so cool. And also, like, you can use it in different ways, right? Because it might be the perfect, uh, like, exact shape if they put, you know, if you put their body in one place, but then it can be turned, right? Correct. And all of a sudden it looks like a new blood rug. Correct. It looks like a new pool of blood, right? Correct. So my customers know that they don't have to necessarily buy one every time that they need one. If they have some in their kit that they want to reuse, they know they have so many different irregular sides that they can feature that look like a brand new rug. So I hope that my customers realize that they can save some money by just storing them back in their kit, reusing them, (laughs) trying to stay green as much as possible by reusing them as much as possible. So were the first, was the first blood rug very different from what we're seeing today? Oh yes. The, the but first... it still looked, I'm sure, it still better than great. what people had seen before. Yes, it still looked great. Um, but now you're like, oh, it's nothing it's compared to nothing what I do now. compared to what I'm doing now. Uh, my first rug was literally poured on a piece of pexi glass, and I, <laughs> me and the crew on Southland had to peel the blood rug off of the pexi glass with car oil, like with car oil to like physically get in between the oh. two sides. Like, for my first blood rug to be, out, like, on a set, and then for the entire crew to be, like, peeling this thing off of a plexiglass, I was like, oh my god, this is never going to work. Yes. <laughs> I'm done. My name is ruined in this industry. But, no, no, no. They, they actually used my rugs throughout the entire four seasons of Southland. So, it was not only a huge compliment for that, but it was also a place to grow and a place to learn. So it did evolve, like throughout those four seasons, you were always like uh, improving it? Yes. Chris Chulak gave me my first opportunity on Southland to really figure it out and to really make things work. And no matter how weird or odd looking they looked, he he still featured them, which I hope Chris Chulak can see this one day. And thank you, Chris. (laughs) Yes. Oh my gosh. Honestly, because it is those moments where somebody's like, yes, go for it, right? Mm -hmm. Just do it. Yes, just do it. (laughs) Because like you said, nothing's a dumb idea. No. It's so amazing how quickly we're always like, no, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. And And like it could have been the next blood rugs. Exactly. Exactly. (laughs) So the way that we met is that my husband Matt and I hired Austin to um, do the blood rugs and the incredible makeup um, special effects um, for this... um, proof of concept short film that we're making for a series called Face to Face and the film itself is called Hashtag Too Young Um, and we would like to show you a clip of a blood rug in action and uh, from from Face to Face the series. Check it out. Wait, 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 there's a woman here with me and she's bleeding, she's bleeding a lot. Is, Is she responsive? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Hello, hello. I'm Dr. Sumner. This is my daughter, Chelsea. Uh, what is your name? Veda. Veda. Hello, hello, Veda. We're, we're going to help you, okay? Chelsea, show me her wound, please. 
Oh yeah, I, I see. The bullet seems to have torn through the artery, meaning pressure won't be enough. Chelsea, do you remember what a tourniquet is? Yeah. All right, I'm going to talk you through it. You want me to do it? No, I will go find somebody else. There's no time, sweetie. It has to be now. Just move with purpose. But what if, what if I mess it up? What if, I can't, I can't, be, I can't be responsible Chelsea, for that. Chelsea. I don't want to kill her. Chelsea! Chelsea! Now listen, we need something to tie around her leg. Uh, a belt or a rope or something. My tights. That's a, that's a very good idea. Right, now we need to find something like a stick or a pen or something similar. That's good, yes. Yeah. Put, put that where the material crosses and tie a knot over it. Okay, now you twist that spindle as much as you can. Just keep twisting as hard as you can until the blood flow stops. Like putting a kink in a hose. Yeah. And then, and then you tie it down, keeping it tight. Show me, sweetie. Gr oh, yeah, that's very good. Very good. Uh, Veda, how, how are you doing? I'm cold. We gotta get away from the door. Okay. And so not only do we do pools of blood, but we also do um, liquid marketing design. So another really fun project that we've done is marketing for Revlon. We actually recreated nail polish colors that look like um, a waterfall wall kind of coming down. So oh, they were like eight, uh, like four by 10 foot, like plexiglass shapes that looked like, you know, little round fount fountains basically. And I just covered them with our material. I had to match every single nail polish color and they used it for their, um, their trade show booths and it was it was beautiful I mean I've never been so proud to kind of branch into a new category of business in marketing uh, for another respected uh, beauty you know consumer yeah. like Revlon like yeah. that's still within my world of makeup yes. and it's it all kind of came together yeah. you know and it was it was really ser serendipitous oh <laughs> that's so cool is that something we could see it wasn't yeah it was totally public already been oh, out so that's so cool yeah I'll, I have pictures on my Instagram so, oh great yeah <laughs> okay and wait tell people what your Instagram is <laughs> oh my Instagram handle is at blood underscore rugs that's at b-l-o-o-d underscore rugs <laughs> Yay. Um, so was that super fun to get to match the nail polish color? Is that something yes. like you totally yes. love doing? And I don't do this by myself. Like I, I have a whole team. Um, they're my family. I absolutely love them. Um, and they help me with all these big orders. They help me um, build blood rugs and make blood rugs uh, as we get orders coming in. Sometimes I'm at work. Like I have four other jobs that I do and wow. just to be able to fund and pay rent and pay my bills. Um, so I do a lot of things and without my team, like I I would not be still sustaining what I'm doing right now. So wow. I owe a lot to them. And, and so yeah, that also developed. I mean, at first you were just just you, just you, just you trying yeah. stuff on Southland. Yeah. Um, and then, then do you remember like your first moment of hiring somebody else? And was that kind of, did that sort of take it to the well, next level? My, my hiring, <laughs> my hiring is more. My hiring is more so. Oh my God! Please, I'm overwhelmed. Can you please help, help me? me? <laughs> yes. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Yes. That's that's good to know. Which is how it works, right? Yeah. 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 No, it was it was. Again, did I did you go I'm to so other grateful. makeup people that you knew, or just anyone you knew who you thought, I bet you can help me do this. It was more so the people I trusted most. Oh. Um. Honestly, it was makeup people. Yes, I would love to get them more involved, right. and once I'm actually like hiring, hiring, I would love to reach out to them more. Uh, but right now, because it is still growing and we're still in like the starting up process mm -hmm. of of my company, I'm a, uh, I'm just bringing in people who I really trust. Because that's awesome. I yeah, trust issues. Oh, yeah, <laughs> no, but I think that's who you want to work with, right? Exactly. exactly. And also, if you have to go somewhere else, you want to be like it's in good hands. It's in good exactly. hands. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I can kind of chirp up the bird a little bit and be like, hey, how's that going? You yeah, know, yeah, 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 yeah. Without feeling too bad. So. You're right. And you're also like, we have a shared vision. Like, I do yeah. kind of establish, like, this is what we all I know that do. they have just as much passion in what we create as I do. Yes. And, like, that's, and there's no other intention in there, and that's the best. Like, I love them so much. Yes. <laughs>
Aww. Shout out to the Santiago family. <laughs> oh, yay. Okay. Um, so tell me this. Uh, tell me maybe about some time, and maybe it is uh, sort of the turning point when you just began doing blood rugs, but um, do you have like a time of sort of self-discovery where you realize something new about yourself or about sort of your place in this industry or in your life? I don't know. Yes, yes. Um, so while doing makeup and blood rugs, I've really had to... At first, I was just gung-ho on makeup, and I was more so about makeup, makeup, makeup. And then I was kind of feeling like I was neglecting my business. Like, I've, you know, I've had the business for a long time. I feel like if I put as much focus as I did with makeup in the beginning, I might be a little bit further along with blood rugs. Okay. However, like, again, I'm so proud of where we are that I wouldn't change it for the world, but it it has led me to kind of switch my focus Got it. and I'm now kind of focusing more on blood rugs. Um, not taking as many one day or jobs on makeup and working other jobs like a barista job and a server job yes. to be able to kind of focus more on the company and figure out what exactly just having the time to kind of do what I need to do business wise. Right. Um, right. So that's, that's been a little challenging because okay, you feel I like love you make it so risk. much. Yeah, I, I'm taking the risk to to push it more. And, yeah. Um, but you also love makeup so much. I, I love makeup so much. And um, I'm really hoping that this year kind of blends the two together a little bit more. Yes. And I can have um, a little bit more balance between the two and, and really focus on where those are going. Got it. And... Um, so did you say you were 17? So you, because you were telling me you dropped out of high school. I mean, this is like, yeah. you were really like a young entrepreneur. I'm so yes. impressed. Yeah. Just tell me for like a moment what that felt like. I hated like, high school. I was not a school person, not a book person. Um, so I dropped out in my ninth grade. No, I'm sorry. I dropped out my 11th grade year, 2009. Um, I had an epiphany in Florence, Italy. My choir went to Italy, and I was there, and I had this moment where I just cried, and I called my mom, and I was like, Mom, I'm officially done. I'm not going back. I How was, did she do with it? Were your parents good about it? Yeah, we had already kind of talked about what I was going to do next, and my dad, knowing that I was going to go towards the industry, he was like, just just go. You know, like, there's no better experience than just being on set. Like, yeah, just do all. it. So just do it. And that's literally how I've lived my life is just... I'm not going to go with the norm of what people tell me I should be doing at all. Like, that's just not me who I am. So you got to take risks. you got to know where you're going. And then you got to, then you actually got to do it. Because, like, right. you can't just be like, okay, I'm going to drop out of school, go to makeup school, and what, work at Nordstrom? No. Like, you know, like, I'm, I'm going to actually do, this. do it. Yeah, you got to put in the effort. you got to put in the time. And I think I've really done that. And I, that's that was definitely a self-discovery moment of, where did this company come from? You know, like, I, now I have a company. I'm a working makeup artist in the movie industry. Like, it really does shock you when you look back on it. Because in the time, you're just like, like, I still need to get into the union. And then all this other pressure comes on to you. But all the shoulds. All the should, woulda, coulda, yeah. But, but really, I'm just very happy with every single day that I'm taking oh, and nice. I hope that I can get a little bit more fire under my butt and just continue <laughs> to go and yeah, well, you know, more and more people fire. are definitely looking into blood rugs I just sent one to Lincoln Center in New York so Yay. they're gonna start using it and just to know that I have customers nationwide is I mean come on look yeah, <laughs> that's incredible that is incredible I never knew that that would even reach that far and that came because at 17 you said I'm done. This isn't me. Yeah. But I know what is me. I just also wanted to say, I love the idea of like, if I discover somebody, what they've discovered and what you think that viewers might not know about that you think, I don't know, some, somebody, something, some music, something that yes. maybe you've discovered. Um, I love jazz music and jazz music really inspires me and it makes me feel and it, it brings so many emotions to myself. Like a lot of people will say that jazz is boring or jazz is out or, you know, whatever. I really do feel a lot of passion when I'm listening to those, to mm -hmm. jazz. And um, Motown is another uh, category of music that I love. And I just think that with music, you actually, 
with music you actually feel emotion like up and down and for me at least and so I just I would really hope that people go check out some jazz because if you want to get a little inspired go zone out and just vibe out to some jazz. Nice. Yeah. Well, I love it. So it's like, you feel like it's just more interactive almost than sometimes yeah. when you're just sitting back and viewing something. Yeah. yeah. You feel like you're part of it a little bit Exactly. More. <laughs> I love that. Go listen well, to some jazz. Just, <laughs> yes. All right. Well, wonderful. And I also want to show her cool necklace that it, it's not an actual blood rugs a blood rug, <laughs> product, but. <laughs> but it is so, so perfect. Thank you. Right? And I hope you guys please check us out, www.bloodrugs.com. It is so cool. This is something that you do not see every day. And as you're checking it out, maybe listen to some jazz or some Motown in the background and uh, get your feelings on like Austin <laughs> was recommending. So thank you for watching this episode of Discover Me TV. Do please like and subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.